Oh, YouTube, Matthew Bear here again, bringing you as soon as it loads. Uh, Secure Team 10, Mr. Tyler over there. There is his logo. Check this out. I got some UFO footage before. Okay, so, very strange, the uploader of this video titled it Shapeshifting UFO Sighted Over Chicago, Illinois, August 26th. They're shaking and the camera it there. it definitely uh, looks like it's shapeshifting of some kind, and when them. I saw it, it automatically reminded me of a short video I posted while I was on vacation at the beach of someone flying a kite of what looked like, like a, a squid yeah. of some sort. Blowing in the wind, and I said, Hey guys, here's some UFO footage for you if I have nothing else to bring back. And it kind of looks like that, but as you compare the two, whatever this thing is above Chicago, it looks like it has many, many more tentacles of different sizes. And the way this thing shifts from sort of a floating squid to almost a spider like object to something with straight legs sort of sitting there like a frog i just don't know uh, if it is a kite it's very elaborate it's nothing like i saw at the beach so you guys tell me what you think down below and like i said that was just a video yeah. just to get us warmed up now hey, hey, he's not joking because i'm going to bring you a couple of things after this recent interview with darcy weir and luna cognita darcy weir and he had worked on a documentary and now myself and Darcy are working on a new upcoming documentary. It won't be out until Christmas, but it's called Secret Space UFOs Rise of the... At the time, there's two things that he needs, or rather uh -huh. we need, for this documentary. The first of those are any animators, and I'm talking 3D Okay, animators. he was talking about animators now. He's looking for animators. Send it over to the email address below. And so now let's get back to some more mysterious UFO footage. We have a lot yeah, to talk about in today's video, not just UFO footage. That's what we come to you for, Tyler. Up into space by companies down here on Earth. We'll get to that in a second. Or First, others. Go ahead and check this out. As well. Question. Um, see, it's actually moving across from left to right, but I'm zooming in so you can see it. Or getting closer so that you can get an idea of what it looks like as it moves across the screen. Okay, so. This footage of this very strange purplish worm type object moving ever so slowly through the sky was uploaded to a YouTube channel by the name of GameVet02, which you're seeing here. And from the looks of his channel, he posts videos of space, and it almost looks like he's using a, an infrared or night vision camera, much like the Aurora Pro night vision camera, which I recently purchased. And so he was, you know, checking out the night sky when he caught this here and wow. i am at a loss for words i have no idea what this object could be i do know that in infrared or at least with the aurora pro when you're looking at things in the infrared it tends to change things to a pink color where trees will be white the sky or things in the sky will be pink and so forth and so we have this strange object slowly moving through space we can see the stars in the background i don't see any Lights, airplane lights, or anything like that, blinking on this thing, no FAA lights, and it looks like a cigar, you know, your, your typical cigar. How many videos have I done on these massive cigar-shaped objects captured not only on Earth, but out in space? Uh, telescope footage and more. So yeah. tell me what you think about this. Very, very strange, and thanks to GameVet02 for posting it. Hope he finds more. Yeah. yeah. Whoa. At 
go to for posting. Hope he finds more. Now on to this video of what was called a strange rotating cloud. It was sighted over Monroe, Louisiana. Check this out. Okay, on this one, I'm totally stumped. What do you guys think? No uh, idea. Okay. Then linked to the TR3B category. And so check out this first one. So we got several sightings here linked to the TR3B. Shape. That it is suspected the United States government and who, knows who all else has already constructed and are putting to use. Okay, so like you guys just heard, the uh, person who's recording this said it, it looked sort of like a stingray looking object uh, type of shape. Uh, and this was recorded over England on August 16th. And I have to say, it definitely has a triangular shape to it. That it it does. looks to be sort of sitting there in the sky before finally uh, disappearing or vanishing or maybe being covered over by the dense, thick fog uh, over in England, land of the fog, as I like to call it. Uh, and it just disappears into the mist. And here I'm just showing you some different filters here, just trying to. He's good to the with that shot. too. And uh, I don't know, guys, what do you think? I it's think you can dissect sure. footage better than anybody I've ever known. It's pretty known. static. It's pretty still and well controlled it, in the sky. Uh, it's and it's black. pretty objective. And as I said before, it looks a lot like the next clip I'm about to show you. So why don't we go ahead and check that out? Here it is. And there's a, a plane flying all around it. And then they zoom back up on it, which is completely understandable. Okay, and then over here on Mary Greeley News, I'm going to go into uh, earthquakes <laughs> that the USGS the aren't reporting zero earthquake. USGS or under-reporting. Spencer, Idaho, which is along the uh, Sawtooth Snake River Plateau. Here's the location. I'm going to bring it out for you. And so this one was there. reported by the USGS. Down here we got all the mountains that were blown out um, as the hot spot tracked towards the north where it is now the caldera. Over here is the sawtooth fault zone and this is location. USGS greatly downgraded it to a magnitude 2.6. This here is the monitor at Maple Creek but you can see down there it came in as a 3.03. .03. More than likely, it was probably a magnitude 3.2. But I gave him the benefit of the doubt. I shortened up the uh, seismic wave. And it came in as a magnitude 3.03. .03.
Now, we know that USGS loves to downgrade these earthquakes. <laughs> and they often don't report all the felt reports either. I've shown you that, and I'm sure you guys have sent in felt reports that USGS never reported. I have four monitors here. The one on the very left is a borehole oh. for Yellowstone Lake. The second one over, that's Maple Creek. This here is Little West Thumb. Oh. And we got Lake View. There was another earthquake. Of course, they never reported it also. And it showed up on all four monitors here at Maple Creek. It came in as red, meaning um, the computer figured it was close to this location. This occurred at 3.48 and almost 30 seconds universal time. There's a signature. It's slightly smaller. Let me three, show you this other one. You can see it's got a longer P wave on it. So this one here Pressure wave. Uh, more likely happened at the park. All right, let me get it. It's got a shorter P wave. That one comes in as a magnitude 1.58. Never recorded it. None of these they reported. Only one earthquake within the last 24 hours, and that's that magnitude 2.6, which actually was at least a 3.0. That's the second one in 24 hours because there was one yesterday. Uh, 3.0. Okay. And now I am going to bring you over to <sighs> Mr. M B B 333. If I can find the TV by switching this that way. No. No. That's supposed to switch it, but is not. So instead, I will just play it this way. And put it on here. Uh, if that works. Which it, uh, it does not seem to want to, no. Well, <clears throat> before I lose too much of the show and fidgeting around. It's doing well and having a great day. In this video, we're going up to the Tacoma, Washington area where I received a video. This goes back a few months. At the time, there were a lot of mysterious bubbles coming up from the seafloor in the Tacoma, Washington area. I want to share that video footage with you as it was shared with me by a man that monitors that every day and had never seen that much activity coming up from the bottom of the seafloor. Also in this video, we're going to Missouri where Beth B has shared a couple of photos of what it is. This is another cigar. A cylinder object parked in the... Sorry about that. Please see there's something sitting up in the clouds. Also in this video, I've got a brand new picture slideshow. New sky phenomena photos sent in from all around the world. But first here at the website, yeah, he does. the Schumann Resonance. A little bit of activity as we were anticipating the arrival of a stream of high-speed solar wind that did skim the Earth. And you can see evidence of that right here in the Schumann Resonance. For Which is also evidence timed with the uh, timing of the earthquakes. That is Schumann re Resonance and earthquake activity are linked. About three hours. It has since passed the Earth. We are waiting on the arrival of another glancing blow here in a couple of days. And probably. We'll probably see a small increase like we did here at the Planetary K Index. But other than that, the sun is pretty so, quiet, at least with regard to any Earth-facing activity. There's no major sunspots, no, yay, no holes, major sunspots. or anything in the works right now, but that can all change rather quickly. Hopping over to the Yellowstone Supervolcano Caldera. See, he'll cover that as well. Grass to monitor the mighty supervolcano. Looked about like they did yesterday. A little bit of activity across the northern tier. Small activity, but all in all, pretty quiet for a supervolcano. Which is why I uh, showed you Mary Greenlee. Um, she is specialized and spe specified in watching Yellowstone due to her own personal interest in living near Yellowstone uh, and has a little bit more in-depth information.
part of how I also get UFO footage. So, I want to take you guys now to Tacoma, Washington, where this... I go to the seminal sources. ...video was shared with me a while back, but it's still relevant because at the time, you can clearly see there was definitely something going on on the seafloor or the floor of this big bay near Tacoma, Washington. The water right there almost looks like it's boiling. I mean, I've seen this before in my travels, and it was a turtle, and it was a very small amount, just like that. That right there was quite a bit. I don't know if that's air, if that's some form of gas making its way up through the, the crust of the earth, coming up through the, the canal here. I have no idea. Right there, it almost looks like it's moving. Maybe along a, a line on the, the floor of this bay. Maybe it's a crack. I have no idea, but the person that took the video... I guess is here every day. They monitor this area and have never seen this type of activity. So I'm just simply passing it along with you guys. You can see right there, it almost looks like it's boiling. It's not. It's not like it's hot there. Quit, then it started again. And the Cascadia is a locked subduction zone. It has not moved in a long time. A lot of pressure has built up underneath it. When it does move, it will be with tremendous force. He has shared a couple of photos with me of what appears to be a cylinder object in the daytime sky. Yeah. Here's a good look at it here. I put it in my picture slideshow, and you're going to see some enhanced versions of this incredible object in the daytime sky. Noticed by Beth B. above Missouri. Wow. First here at Coral Springs, Florida. Ariel P. noticed a very photogenic storm cloud as it was rolling through the area. Branford, Connecticut. Barbie and Dave noticed a rare fog bow. Above Branford, Connecticut, St. Petersburg, Florida, Beach Betty noticed a very unusual trail up in the sky. Almost looked like melted wax or something dripping from the sky. Get a load of that, would you? Beth B. out of Missouri. Now we're going to take a look at the photos Beth shared. She shared this one here of a beautiful fiery orange and gold sky. Here is the mystery object. You're going to see the original photos, and then I enhance. I don't alter. I just try to pull forward any features. And some features did come forward on one of these photos that you'll see here. She sent me a total of four. There's number two. And here are the enhancements of the first two photos. And you can clearly see there is something up in the clouds above Missouri on that day. I don't know the exact day. She sent these photos a few days ago. And I just now worked them and, and was able to pull forward whatever this is in the sky. Definitely looks like some sort of a cylinder object. And... I've read reports over the years of several people talking about seeing a cylinder in the